this video I'm going to show you the mastermind project which is basically the mastermind game but instead of numbers instead of colors you will use numbers so the first argument you have to give the game is how many numbers you want to guess and let's say I want to guess two numbers and then the second argument you have to tell the computer is how big do you want those numbers to be so the lowest you can go is from one to six and the biggest you can go is from one to twenty so let's say i write i want them to be one to five it will complain it will tell you that it has that it will be from one to six and if i choose 35 for example as the second argument it will just tell me that you're playing from one to twenty so let's do three numbers from no let's do two numbers uh, from one to ten so I write 2 and then I write 10. So now you can choose a number for yourself or you can tell the computer to generate a random number. But just for you to understand how the program works, I'm going to choose a number. Let's say I have to choose two numbers and they will have to be from 1 to 10. So I'm going to choose 1 and 7. So it will tell you using given secret and now the game starts. You have to guess two numbers and they have to be from 1 to 10. So we already know the secret number, which is 1 and 7, but let's pretend we don't. So let's say 5 and 4, and the computer will give you a hint on which numbers are in the right place and which numbers are in the wrong place. Um, so we know that 5 and 4 are not in the secret because they're not even in the wrong place. So let's see, um, two and three. Okay, we know that we are not using two, three, four, five. So let's say one and six, and it tells me that one is in the right place and zero in the wrong place. So one of those numbers must be right, and one of those numbers must, uh, it's not right. So let's try one, well, we can see 6 and 1, and it will tell you 1 is in the wrong place, one of those two. So let's start 1 and 8. 1 is in the right place. Now I know that 1 is the one that was in the right place. And then I know that it is not 5 or 4, 2 or 3 or 6, so we try 1 and 7, and that is right and it will tell you how many guesses it took. Now, that's if you give the computer a number, but now let's do it uh, without knowing what the number is. And how you do that, you just write zero and zero, depending on how many numbers you want. In this case, I chose two, so I write zero two times. So using random secrets, I don't know, what the number is so let's start the game let's say i want to guess one and two none of them are in the wrong place so i know that it's not one or two now let's guess three and four okay one is in the right place so let's try three and one because i know that one is not it to see if three is the one that is in the right place okay so I know that 3 is in the right place already. So now it's just a matter of guessing. 3 and 6. Okay, so it took me 5 guesses. And that's basically how the game works.